Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and uh, check out our website, raywaldo.com. Today we're going to replace the glass and LCD and digitizer on an iPhone 4, and uh, this is entirely different. The first, well, the only thing that's not entirely different is remove the two screws at the bottom. Uh, it's entirely different than the uh, process was in uh, with the uh, 3G or 3GS. I remove those two screws on the bottom and uh, then slide the bottom, the back, up and it comes right off. Now that's the opposite of the way 3G was. Okay, the next thing we want to do, uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot, be sure that you power it off, which I've already done. No, I haven't. We need to power it off. Okay, so slide down lock and hold the power button down. Oh, by the way, see, this is the problem here. This one has a bad, uh, some bad stuff underneath there. Glass is okay, but this will be the same process if you change the glass. Um, so power it all off. I mean, once you get the battery out, it's going to be powered off anyway, but it's just a good process to go ahead and power off correctly. Also, we want to remove the SIM card, and if you don't have the SIM card remover, well, you know, <laughs> a good old-fashioned uh, gym clip works fine, and somebody's already taken the SIM card out, so that's okay. Right, and then the next thing we want to do is uh, that we want to uh, remove the battery connector. And most of these screws are all Phillips. So they're very small little Phillips screwdrivers. And the battery connector is right here at the very bottom. Uh, can you see that right there? This little screw. So we're going to remove that little screw. By the way, I'm keeping these in an egg carton. That's usually a, a good plan because some of these screws are a little bit different than others and you want to make sure that they go back in the same place that you uh, intend. Now, underneath here, and, uh, okay, remove that little screw, put him in a hole by himself. Now under, and we want to remove that battery connector and use a flathead screwdriver to do that usually, um, or a case opener, and just pop that little connector up. Now underneath that connector, and nobody tells you this, okay, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm going to pull in and show you, if I can here, if it'll focus, but it may not focus. Hello. All right, there we go. All right, now underneath here is a little uh, clip that comes loose. If you're not real careful, you can forget where that thing comes from. This little clip right here. And when that thing comes out, it doesn't come out exactly the same time the battery connector does. And it goes. Get here where I can show you. Okay, here's the little clip, and it goes in just like that. Just like that. That's the way it goes right there underneath that screw. And then this little uh, clip over here goes back over to the left. Okay? So we're going to put it in with the battery connector screw. Okay? All right. And the next thing we want to do is to uh, start to pull up on the little battery tab here. Okay? And uh, if, yours is, if your battery is stuck better, you might have to pull a little bit more. You might have to pry on it. But this one's been out before, so it came off pretty easily. Uh, just be careful. Don't bend or twist the battery. Uh, but the battery and the battery connector come out together. Okay, so we set him aside. Okay. The next thing we want to do is remove the five screws across the top. And again, they're Phillips. Uh, and uh, the top up here where the camera is. And there's a screw here. This is a large screw. It's a different size than the others. There's one right here, one right here, and this one right here is a very long screw across the top, and then one right here. And uh, those five screws, we're going to remove those. So uh, I may get in your way here, so you can't see real well. I hope not, but uh, try to get it where you can see. Okay. Remove each of those screws. 
going to take the little ones. And put them in a section by themselves. So they are very, very tiny little screws. Then we take out the, the long one across the top. Okay. And you'll notice that it is a good bit longer than the others. Okay. Still very tiny, it's only about a little over an eighth of an inch long, but it's still much longer than the others. And then the large one over here on the left side next to the camera. Oops. Okay. Left side next to the camera. This one, I say large, it's still very, very tiny, but it's larger than the others. Okay, and the shield is coming up, so we want to remove the shield anyway. So, okay, so we'll go ahead and get it, get the screw, put the screw in there shield and connection, all those things to go together. Okay, so we got the shield off. Now, there are two screws that hold the motherboard connector here on the side below the camera. This is the camera up here. This is the camera. And then on the side here, next to the camera, next to that pull tab that we pulled up, and notice that did come up by itself, not with the battery. Okay, it's separate from the battery. So we remove those two screws and the little captor, captive uh, piece of metal there that holds the motherboard connector down. So we want to remove those screws so we can get to that motherboard connector. Okay, so put those two screws. cover plate or by itself. We'll wait about the connector, but uh, it's the motherboard connector right there. We could go ahead and pull it up. Just pop up. There we go. Now, the ribbon cable for the motherboard is glued down, so you'll have to pull it up a little bit. So we're going to have to get in there, and then we're going to pull it off to the side next to the Okay, and uh, so we move, remove that uh, motherboard cable. Then across the top, up here with opposite where the camera is, we're going to remove the two uh, the two screws that hold the vibrator motor down. Right in the corner here is the vibrator motor, and there are two screws. So we're going to remove them. That's the other. And remove the vibrator. And it's two screws. Now the, the one the screw across the top is a little bit larger than the one at the bottom, so I'll just make note of that. that uh, for the vibrator motor, the screw at the top is larger. Have it unscrewed all the way. That helped. There we go. Let me just do it out. Okay. And see it's longer. You see that? It's long like the other one. Okay, so vibrator motor and it's two screws on another cart. Okay, we got the vibrator motor off. And uh, there are five connectors across the top here. And uh, you can use a case opener tool for these five. And what we want to do, actually there are six connectors, but we're going to work on the, the five first. Um, so use the left to right, and uh, that's pretty much it. So we pop up that one, and then we pop up this long one. 
Some of them are a little harder to get up than others, but we're going to pop those connectors up. Then these pop down, the three across the side here. These two are the two that go to the, uh, the glass and the LCD. Well, not the glass, but the digitizer and the LCD. Pop these three down. And uh, so just left to right, we'll bring them all off. Okay, get all those done. And then uh, the next thing we want to do, number six, is the connector right below the, bat, the uh, camera. It's the only thing that's holding the camera in, so we're going to pop that one up, and there's the camera. Okay, so it came out. Okay, so we put the camera over here in this container. Okay. So we've got the camera off. And uh, now there are, uh, there is a screw underneath this ribbon cable that we took from the motherboard. We want to get that one underneath there. There's a Phillips screw, and uh, we're going to remove that Phillips screw right here. And this black panel across the bottom is the speaker assembly. And there's a screw there, and there's a screw over on the opposite side here that we want to remove. Get those two screws loose. I'm using my left hand. It's not exactly not ambidextrous, so uh, not everything works well, but I have to use my left hand so that you can see over my right shoulder. Okay. So make sure that I got this one over here. The eyes okay. So that screw. And then we'll come out. Uh, so we're going to put that in its cont container. And we'll just pop up the speaker. Now that's going to show us, don't pull the speaker off yet. Uh, that's going to show us a coaxial cable underneath there. I'm just trying to get this screw. Okay. So we want to pop that coaxial cable that goes to the motherboard. Okay, if I can get down there close enough to it so that you can see it, I'm going to have a problem again. Okay, let's see if I can do it this way. The camera's not wanting to focus well. Okay. Well, anyway, right here, right in this area here, there's a coaxial cable. I'm just going to pop that up. Okay. There it is right there. Okay. And then once you've done that, then the speaker will come off and put it with these two screws. Okay. Once you've got the speaker off, then we're going to remove the motherboard. Now, this one has already been... Uh, this phone has already been opened before and uh, so normally there's a white tab right here over this this little screw here it's a little white tab and that white tab is the uh, moisture sensor you'll have to remove that moisture sensor and then you can remove the screw okay so we're going to remove the screw this, this one's already been removed so uh, it's not there. So get that screw. And, uh, put him in his little container. Okay. And then across the top, right up here, there's another screw that one of the other screws that we already took loose was screwed into it. And uh, it actually has a cross on it, but you probably use a, a flathead screwdriver to remove it. So we're going to remove it with a flathead. Uh, it'll be easier than trying to get a Phillips in there. It's a little bit long. I'm going to remove that screw. And it is unique to all the other screws, so you won't get it lost. Or you might get it lost, but you won't get it mixed up with the others. Itself. 
And once you have those two screws removed, then the motherboard, and this is the motherboard, this whole section here, this L-shaped section here, is all the motherboard. And it will come up. And just be real careful across the top here. Move it away from those. And there we go. We've got the motherboard out. Okay. Probably about seven or eight minutes, probably. Okay, so we've got the motherboard out. We've got uh, everything pretty much done now to get ready to replace our glass, except there are 10 screws. Now, most of the sites that you'll find will tell you to remove all 10 screws. I have found that you don't need to remove the three on the sides, uh, on each side. There are three, one, two, three on this side, and then there are three on the other side. You only need to loosen them. You don't need to remove them. Okay. If you do remove them, they're going to be hard to put back in. And uh, so I look at things to be easy. Okay, so take those three and loosen them. And then there are three over here. There's one there, one there, and one right there. And we'll just loosen them up a little bit. Just enough so that a uh, quarter of a turn maybe, or half a turn maybe, just so they're real good and loose. Okay. And then there are four screws, one in each corner. And uh, those four screws have to come out entirely. So those are the ones that you're going to have a little bit of problem with getting back in together. So uh, remove those four screws. And you won't have any problem finding which ones they are. You know, they're the only, not the only ones that are left. After we've done all this, the, the case is pretty much open by now. So I'm trying to remove these in a way that you can see what's going on. There's one. There's another one down here. this corner, one in each of the four corners. They may not be exactly in the corner, but they're pretty close. And they're all the four of the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. And can you see this one here? Move him. And we still got the other one stuck in the corner there. Sure, why that one's not going to come out. They're just so tiny. Even my tweezers are too large for it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, that's all four of those screws. The other six, three on each side, are loosened. Now we use a case opener. And uh, what you'll probably need to do is use a, a razor blade or something like that to get a start. Uh, find you a start somewhere. 
And once you get it started, now this one's been open, so it's not too awfully hard. It's been open before. And then once you get it started, you can just go around with the case opener all the way around. And uh, there are a lot of different tools. You can use this one. You can use the flat uh, tool. You can use a guitar pick or whatever works. Anything. Credit card. Sometimes people use credit cards. Okay, there we go. Got it. Real close. Now, if your glass, now this is glued on, so uh, it's not going to come off real easy on some of them. There we go. You hear it popping the glue. There we go. Okay. Now, if, if the, uh, yeah, there's the glue coming loose now. Okay. Now, what you want to be careful of is, well, I mean, you're going to replace these anyway, but uh, these little, these two little connectors that the first two that we took loose will come through a little square hole in the frame. There we go. And there we go. We've got it loose. Okay. So uh, the procedure to put it back, just the opposite. Just put it all back together just the same way you took it apart, and uh, it should work. All right. Till next time, this is Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology, saying uh, goodbye, and check our website, raywaldo.com, for more information.